Moses Johnson told police his baby girl fell into a swimming pool. Turns out, though, investigators say his story just didn't add up. The maintenance man at the hotel said Johnson and his baby were not near the swimming pool, that he saw Johnson walking down the stairs carrying the child. Police say that baby girl had multiple bruises on her head. I checked into his background and found this. He's 39 years old with plenty of mug shots and plenty of arrests, too. The latest police say Moses Johnson told them his 11 month old daughter fell into a swimming pool at a Northeast Albuquerque hotel where Johnson and his family were staying. He told police the baby wasn't breathing. Investigators say his story didn't add up at all. While rescue crews performed CPR on the baby, medics noticed she had multiple bruises on her head. Police charged Johnson with child abuse resulting in death. We checked into Johnson's criminal history. Court records show it goes back more than two decades, including multiple charges of battery against household members. Over the years, more charges, including battery with a deadly weapon, kidnapping and sexual assault. That case ended up getting tossed. So did another one the following year, a domestic violence case involving a child. Then just last August, court records show Johnson petitioned the courts for custody of his four month old daughter, writing the baby's mother attacked him with a knife that the baby would be safer with him. Eight months later, the little girl was dead. So you all, we did reach out to CYFD about this case to see how a baby was living with a man with that type of history. A spokesman says they cannot comment on a specific case. We asked if the new CYFD secretary would do an interview with us about all the recent cases involving children. Three high profile cases in the last five days. So far, no interview. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. A spokesperson for the governor, who's also the spokesperson for CYFD, sent us a statement that reads in part, words cannot do justice to these tragedies. CYFD has stepped in and stepped up to ensure the traumatic fallout for any and all children touched by these cases is minimized to the greatest extent possible and will continue to do so. We join all New Mexicans in mourning the losses of these children.